I've just got back home from a really long day at work. It was not that great of a day. So I was thinking instead of coming home just to study, maybe I should treat myself and get back into reading. I've been going to Barnes and Nobles and I always pick up books, but then I don't end up reading them. And I feel like it's because I've been trying to juggle a lot of things, but then I'm like, no, I also spend a lot of time on social media when I shouldn't. So I'm trying to find better ways to use my time. So today's mission is to set a realistic TBR list for November. I did get three books the last time I went to Barnes and Nobles, have not touched them yet. I kind of want to add them to this review. So I'm going to have those three books plus whatever I get from Barnes and Nobles today and hopefully we can find some really cool like dark academia or even some like mystery books because I usually don't read mystery I'm usually into the normal rom-com and things like that and that's like my niche that's my go-to but I kind of want to step out of that and see what else I can find I just want to find a book that I can really sink my teeth into so that's the goal for today the weather isn't that great today it's warm but it's just like muggy is gross so it's not really the fall vibes that we're looking for i'm in the fall mood but the weather really isn't connecting with me we're gonna pretend anyway though i do have a cute outfit i want to wear to the store and let's just get started i'm ready to get some good books i'm ready to get out of this funk and i want to see what we find i want to mix a lot of browns and blacks today so i thought black jacket chocolate brown bodysuit the showstopper these jeans i showed them before in my clothing haul but i haven't got to wear them yet they look really cute and i'm really excited because i feel like it's going to pull everything together but now that i'm looking at it <laughs> these are two completely different brown colors maybe a like cream bodysuit and then the brown jacket or the black jacket to be continued give me a second i'm gonna figure it out i found the perfect bodysuit for these pants and then i thought like why not put the cream boots together it just all worked out so now I'm really committed to this outfit and I really like how it turned out. Oh my God, guys, guys, it was worth it. It looks so good. Let me show you. I feel like a Backstreet Boy. I know the lighting is terrible, but look how cute. I really like it. I just made it to the mall. I talked to you guys and got dressed for like 30 minutes. Within that 30 minutes, the sky completely got dark. The sun is gone. It looks like it's midnight and it's really just five o'clock. So that's terrifying. But none of that matters because we are here on a mission. I want to find some really good books. I have a really good feeling about it. I feel like I'm going to find some really good things. Plus there's a Starbucks in there. I can get a really cute coffee. We can look at some new books that I haven't seen on TikTok before. We're just gonna have a good time. I'm excited. back home I got the goods 
I'm not gonna lie, that trip had some highs and some lows. The bookstore was amazing. I got a lot of really, really good books that I'm excited to go through with you. Lows, some guy tried to curse me out. Long story, but we're alive, we're well. So after all of that chaos, I decided to treat myself. And if you know me, I absolutely love pajamas. I went to TJ Maxx and I got myself a really cute pajama set. I feel like it's gonna go really well with the books we got. I'm really excited to put these on, get cozy, and dive into the books. But first, I just wanted to say like, I love freaking Barnes and Nobles. Like, people are always so nice. I love finding new books, new reads, and like the staff helped me find a lot of good books this time. And then I went to Starbucks too, and I always get like a chai tea or a matcha, and I got it with the caramel creme brulee pump or something. It was so good. I've never tried that before. I was just feeling a little spicy. I'm really glad I did because I loved it. I thought it was really good. And I got it with coconut milk. So if you try it, let me know in the comments down below. And while you're in the comments, you can like and subscribe. <laughs> anyway, as mentioned before, these three books are the books I got from the last Barnes and Nobles trip. And these are the ones I got today. So in total, Let's see, four, five, six, seven, none of this. So these are the seven books we're gonna go through. I'm excited because I know I said it's gonna be my November TBR, but honestly, I'm just getting out of a book funk. So I think this is gonna be the end of the year goal. So I wanna read these seven books by the end of 2022. I think that's a fair, that's a fair goal. So let's start with the three. I got from last time. I'll just do a quick synopsis for the people who didn't see the last vlog. I can link that up here somewhere. So number one, The Unhoneymooners. It sounds really good because it's like one of those cheesy rom-com sounding books. I don't know, obviously I haven't read it, but it's about this girl who went to her sister's wedding. The guy she hates is there. For some reason, her sister and her new husband can't go on their honeymoon. So instead she makes the sister go with the guy she hates and I'm guessing they fall in love. Sounds amazing. I love cheesy rom-coms like that. I'm a sucker for them. I know it's terrible, but it's my vice. C'est la vie. Number two is Variety. This is from Colleen Hoover. I've never read a single Colleen Hoover book, but she literally has the entire youth of America or the youth on TikTok in a chokehold. I don't know what kind of spell she's put on these people, but everyone is obsessed with her. And I remember the last time I went, this girl was there and she was telling me like, she doesn't even like Colleen Hoover, but this one book is the one that she likes from her. So I was like, hmm. And apparently it's a mystery. It's about a writer who writes a book or finishes a book for another writer who got sick or something. So this sounds good. Also, <laughs> Side note, when I was in the store, this is so embarrassing. When I was in the store, when I was in TJ Maxx, I was looking for pajamas, right? And so I had to ask someone for help. I'm like, oh, do you know where the pajamas are? I was over here, but I didn't really see it anymore. And I was like, I don't know. When I went like this, tell me why my nail tried to embarrass me. I went like this and my nail popped off. <laughs> so now I'm looking like this. And the lady was like, and I was like, and I was like, never mind, I'll find it. <laughs> and I was so embarrassed. So I came back with battle wounds, but here we are. Anyway, last but not least, the other one is The Midnight Library. I've heard a lot of good things about this. I was really intrigued because it's about this girl who goes to a midnight library and she reads about all the possible lives she could have lived. And I don't know, it just sounds like really intriguing because I don't know why. I've always thought of like what my life could have been if I was an artist, what my life could have been if I was a writer, if I was born in another country, you know? Like I've always thought about those things. So this book idea really intrigued me because it's always something that I've had in the back of my mind. So I wanna see how this plays out. I hear there are a lot of good life lessons in this. All right, so those were the three I got last time that I have yet to read. <laughs> now, these are the four I got today. First of all, clap it up for the staff at Barnes and Nobles because this lady, I told her I was trying to get out of a reading slump. She dropped everything she was doing and was committed to helping me find the book that was gonna get me out, that was gonna make me feel creative or lust for a book again. She like spent 30 minutes trying to help me and she was so nice. So shout out to you, lady. Didn't get her name, but shout out to you. You're amazing. First of all, she asked me what kind of books I like. 
She better stop before I make her my best friend. Anyway, she asked me what kind of books I like, what things I was interested in. I told her I like really cheesy rom-coms and things like that, but I'm open to trying new things. First off, she told me about this book. I think this is a very common like book talk book. It's called A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah. This sounds very interesting. It has like, so I was a Twilight kid. I read the Twilight series when I was in middle school. I think it was high school, freshman year of high school I started. I was obsessed. I was team Jacob all the way. I saw all the movies. I read all the books like twice. I was obsessed. So this is giving me those Twilighty vibes. But basically, it's about this girl. She is 19 years old. She accidentally kills a wolf in the woods and then she pisses off these people or fairies and then she meets this guy that she hates. But then she's like, oh my god, I guess I don't hate him. And it's about their story and what's going on in that magical world. So, so far, this sounds amazing. And then the girl who helped me find this book, she was like, this got me out of my reading funk. I absolutely loved it. The characters are so captivating. You fall in love with them immediately. And then, like, there's some really good ones that you just love to hate. I love those kind of books. So I'm very excited about this. The next one I got is In Five Years. So I got this one because it was like a buy one get one half off and I got The Love Hypothesis. So I was like, well, let's try this. This sounds good. But basically this one really intrigued me because again, I love rom-coms. It's about this girl who got proposed to, she got her dream job. One night she went to bed and she was next to her soon to be husband. And then when she woke up the next morning, she was married to someone completely different, had a different ring on her finger, and her whole life was different. So basically she jumped five years and she can only spend one hour in the future basically. And it's about like all the things that she learned and it's a love story but like not the traditional kind and I don't know just the back of it sold me and then the girl who checked me out she was like I read this it's really good if you like rom-coms or just romantic books in general this is for you so I don't know, maybe I'm a sucker, but she sold it for me too. I was questioning it at first, but she was like, no, 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 you picked a good one. So I'm excited about that one too. And then obviously because I got that one, I got this one too. It's the love hypothesis. This one is about this PhD student. Her name is Olive, love that name. And she kisses this guy who she works with out of nowhere, it was like very random. And she just slowly falls in love with him. And it sounds very witty, very cute. And like, you kind of know what's gonna happen already, but you enjoy the ride. It's not like too cliche to where like, you don't like the story, you don't like the characters. It doesn't sound like that at all. So I'm very excited about this too. I saw this a lot on Book Talk too, actually. A lot of people were talking about how cute it was. And a lot of YouTubers who do book hauls have also talked about this. So I'm excited. Last but not least, literally, if it's not Colleen Hoover, it's The Song of Achilles. I've heard this book everywhere. I've seen this freaking cover everywhere. So I was like, you know what? Let me just join the crowd. If you can't beat them, join them. So I got it. And it's about who you think it is. It's about Achilles. He was like banned from the kingdom or something for something that he did. He was a prince or something like that. And they come together to save one of the other goddesses who was kidnapped or taken and then their friendship and love for each other develops into something like important for this battle they have with some type of wicked evil thing going on in their world. I'm not explaining it very well but it sounds amazing and literally everyone and their mom recommends this book so I'm excited. I know I have not read a lot this year. I've read Atomic Habits like four times. I've read Can't Hurt Me three times, but I also listened to that on audiobook too, like whenever I need motivation. And then I read uh, Jeanette McCurdy's book, which was absolutely phenomenal. But that was pretty much it. I didn't read that much this year, which really makes me sad because I love reading. So I'm hoping I get through all seven of these books this year. I have two months to do so, but I'm also learning Japanese and I also have a full-time job and I also write a newsletter and I also have a YouTube channel, so <laughs> it's a lot. But I am going to try my best to read all seven of these books by the end of this year. You guys have my word, I pinky promise. Give me that pinky. I pinky promise to try my very best. Out of all seven of these books, I am excited about all of them, but the thing is, 
your girl doesn't know where to start. Seven is a big number. So, in the comments down below, tell me where the heck should I even start? I'm in the mood for a mystery, but I'm also in the mood for a rom-com, and I'm also in the mood for a life lesson, and I'm also in the mood for Greek mythology, so I can go anywhere. You guys let me know what I should start with. I will pick a random book and start reading it, but I will find a new order of books to read from the comments below, and I'll do that. So tonight I will pick something random, and it looks like, hmm, variety. I will start variety, but leave in the comments down below what you actually want me to read first. And I'll do that. Before we start though, look at how freaking cute. Tell me these aren't cute. They got little hearts on them. TJ Maxx is the best man. You can find decor, bath stuff, pajamas, clothes, even food. Like, I love TJ Maxx. Look at how freaking cute. I love a good matching set. I can't wait to wear these. But they do need cleaning. I don't like getting clothes from the store and not washing them. You don't know what these people be doing. Oh my gosh, wait, I'm so sorry. I almost forgot. When I was a kid, I used to love reading so much that when it was time to go to bed, I just didn't want to go to sleep. So I'd hide under my blankets and use a flashlight so that I can keep reading, especially when I was reading the Twilight series. I literally could not put those books down or the Hunger Games series. That one was really good too but I used to use a flashlight and then my aunt figured it out that I was doing that instead of going to bed. So she got me one of those little light clips that you can put on your books. And I haven't seen those in years, like completely forgot about them. And when I was checking out at Barnes and Nobles, look what I found. So I got one and I'm so excited. I got it in my favorite color. I got it in green. Guys, stop it right now. How freaking adorable. I'm in love. I'm so happy. I'm so glad I got it. I definitely will be using this. Definitely. All right. Back to business. Let me go put on some pajamas.